hey guys welcome back to my channel today it's a cook and juice with me video and i'll be sharing a simple coconut fried rice recipe while i just you on how i got scammed online so if you're coming across my channel for the first time and please if you find my video valuable please subscribe to my channel like this video share and yeah comment down below if you've ever been scammed before okay so yeah let's get right into this video so this is just my own take on coconut fried rice okay and yes let's start but before we start off this video i wanted to just take time out to appreciate those that have subscribed to my channel already and let's take some parfait for the journey ahead okay now let's get right into the video <laughs> so many years ago i really wanted to be a freelancer this like about three four years ago and then after covid remote job was the in thing and i signed up for this website to get access to remote jobs and i started applying to jobs and unfortunately I, I saw this job and they reached out to me and they were like oh let's chat for the whatsapp i started chatting on whatsapp they said they're an agency that they offer jobs to freelancers under their agency and they wanted to offer me a job asked me the skills i had i said oh i could do microsoft word i could edit documents and all that and so they told me there was this job offer for about six hundred dollars and that it was for a project that would last three days and in my mind more, i've not seen that kind of money before and so i went on linkedin did my search um i think i also searched for the company on, on google and i saw that there was a website with that company page and also they told me that to start the project i had to pay a certain amount of money in dollars through paypal and i said oh i don't have a paypal account and they're like okay fine what country am i in i told them nigeria they said oh they would send me a nigerian account details i could pay to one of their partners and then i could be in on the project and then they would give me access to star work so i told them oh but i don't have the amount you're calling they said oh i should just pay what i had so i paid 16k <laughs> hey god you guys this was the first red flag but you know desperation is a bad thing so i paid and they gave me some instructions to start work and i started work and they gave me a deadline of three days to meet up with so they told me that once i had finished the job they would give me my payment so i spent days i was not sleeping like i worked on this thing i typed it was to type some documents and i did all that and when i finished now and i don't submitted i was like i got finished the work go oh, pay me my money okay and he's like hey it's like i have to pay for id before they can process my payment i say you say <laughs> which id this was not part of the plan and that was when I started thinking, ah, ah shit, maybe these people have scammed me. And I was like, you didn't tell me I was going to pay for any ID before now. And he's like, no, now I have to pay for an ID for them to process my payments. They can't process payments without ID. I'm like, okay, now I don't want to do it again. Return my money. The assistant can have paid you. Return it back. And this is how this guy ghosted me. Stopped responded to my messages changed his pictures everything just wiped away and that was how i knew that i had just been scammed okay and so the first red flag was they told me i should pay money to join their agency to get more jobs that should have been my first red flag but i was so desperate i ignored it the second thing was they they offered me a ridiculous amount of money as payment for a simple project i should have known that the offer was too good to be true but i completely ignored it because i was desperate i was broke and yes this just goes to show you that when you're desperate and you're broke you make bad decisions okay so <laughs> so that was how i got scammed online you see me that I was looking for money so I now collected the little that i have but thank god that experience has taught me to do my due diligence and to always be careful of 
things and opportunities that seem so good to be true so comment down below have you ever been scammed before let me know what happened and how did you react to it and hopefully like you have come out better from that experience okay so you guys at this point our coconut rice is done like you saw in the video i'm just making the veggies to mix with the coconut fried rice and and you guys i know that there are legit job sites where they post legit jobs but you just need to be careful especially when you're trying to make money online be careful and do your due diligence okay so i thought to add a bonus clip here i made a yummy salad you guys this salad has carrots cabbage cucumber apples and avocados you guys i've never made this salad before but i got inspiration to make it and trust me it was yummy imagine the combination of this salad with that coconut fried rice you just saw and i had it with goat's meat pepper sauce you guys just thinking about it my mouth is starting to water so yeah that was what i had this was actually what i made for easter lunch for my family and it was such a yummy and delightful meal and hopefully i'll share more videos more recipe with you guys so thank you so much for watching a girl is tired cooking all day so i just want to have a glass of wine relax and enjoy the rest of my day okay please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you bye <laughs>